Okay, so hey guys, this is a quick intro to my video on how to make panda nails. So here is my nail with a panda on it, and all you're going to need is some black polish, some clear polish for like the top coat and the base coat, um, a color of your choice. I use Candy Floss by... Hot Lux in Collection 2000. It's pretty good colors they do, so get some of them. And you'll also need white because it's a panda. So please enjoy my video and I hope you <clears throat> learn from it and enjoy it. Bye! Here is my thumbnail and then here is my clear polish. I'm just going to do a quick coat of it again so it doesn't stain my nail with the color that I'm going to be using. Again, this doesn't have to be neat, it's just clear, obviously. Like that. Let's just leave that to dry. Okay, once your base coat has dried, you're going to need the color that you're going to be having on, the main color on your nail. So... <clears throat> I'm going to be using Candy Floss Pink from Collection 2000 Hot Looks. So let's quickly just paint our nail with a color. It can be any color you want. It doesn't really matter. Anything goes with pandas. I'm going to need two coats of this, so let the first coat dry, and then it should be fine. It's still drying. It hasn't quite dried. I'm just waiting for it to dry, so I can do the second coat of paint, as because you can see it's a little streaky and rough, but it's okay, because it's only the first coat of polish. It's really dried now. It's all fine to use. So it's just drying, I've done the second coat, and after this I'll start on the white, which is here. Okay, I've just changed cameras, so sorry if there's any massive changes in angles or light or something. But once your last coat of your desired color has dried, then you are ready to move on to the white. Okay, so basically, all you have to do is draw a little face on the tip of your nail. It doesn't have to be that big, but if you have small nails, then maybe it should be. But you might have to do quite a few coats, considering it's only pale. So basically, you're just drawing a little head on the side of your nail for the panda. I think that coat, that's enough coats to be honest. Um, it's actually a bit thicker than it should be, but it's all fine. Now all you have to do is wait for that to dry. Do not, uh, do not use your dotting tool if it's not completely dry because you'll just wreck it and make holes in it. Okay, so my <clears throat> My white panda head has completely dried, and now I'm going to be getting my dotting tool or bobby pin if you don't have one. And I'll be just using this black. Um, it's just a generic black nail polish. I don't like black nail polish, so I don't really have a good one because I don't really want to buy it. So I just bought this. Um, it's It was like, I don't know one pound, dollar even. Um, what I'm going to be doing is 
in case you don't know how to like do dotting, I'm just going to be putting a big blob of nail polish on a piece of paper, paper, sorry, or any sort of um, thing. And I'm going to be getting my dotting tool, and I'll just pop my end in here. Make sure it's fully immersed, or whatever you call it. Um, then on my nail, I just put my hand in the black stuff, okay? Then on my nail, I'll just carefully make little ears to the hander. Like so. Like that. And I'm just going to get another blob. Let's make sure it's fully painted on my dotting tool thing. So there's my panda ears. They look pretty cool. Now, now I'm going to be doing my eyes, which are there. And then I'll do a teeny little nose underneath. If you don't want noses, then you can leave it because technically I think noses sometimes make it look cuter than other times. It just ruins it. So there is the panda nail. It's finished. Well, actually, no, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> Basically, after that, just to make it to stop from from chipping. Sorry, chipping. To so prevent it from chipping, you gotta apply a top coat of clear varnish. This will also strengthen your nails and it will also um, just sort of mold it all together so it won't just be like really spazzy. Now basically um, do not apply this top clear coat until your fingers have completely dried because you gotta leave it at least five minutes before you apply this because this will literally just smudge your nails. This is what I did to my other thumb. As you can see, it's totally smudged even though it was completely dry. So you, you gotta make sure you leave it for quite a while. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. I hope your nails look awesome now with little pandas on. I think pandas are so cute. They're like my favorite animal. And um, that's basically all there is to it. It's probably one of the most simple sort of animal designs for your nails. Um, apart from a worm. But you won't want a worm on your finger. Still, it's pretty cute, isn't it? Okay, so um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!